Hi, I'm Dave Ballow, a senior RF application engineer at Agilent Technologies. I'm standing next to the PNAX, the world's most advanced vector network analyzer. With a single set of connections to a device under test, or DUT, the PNAX is capable of performing many RF tests that used to take a rack of test equipment. Measurements include S parameters, gain compression, intermodulation distortion, and noise figure. In this video, we'll show you how the PNAX provides the highest accuracy noise figure measurements in the industry. Why is noise figure accuracy so important? For R&D engineers comparing simulated and measured device behavior, higher accuracy helps speed time to design by enabling faster refinement of component models. Higher accuracy also yields improved system performance by enabling better optimization between receiver sensitivity and transmitter power. In manufacturing, higher accuracy provides better correlation among test stations. This results in less rework and lower cost of test. And higher accuracy reduces measurement uncertainty guard bands, resulting in more competitive products with better specifications. So why do engineers care about noise figure? Noise figure is a handy figure of merit that describes the electrical noise added by an amplifier or frequency converter in a 50 ohm system. The definition of noise figure is simple and intuitive. It's the ratio of the input signal to noise ratio to the output signal to noise ratio. For any passive device with loss or active device with loss or gain, the output signal to noise ratio will always be less than that at the input. This means the noise figure will always be larger than 1 in linear terms or greater than 0 dB. How is noise figure measured? The most common measurement approach is called the Y-factor method. This method is used with Agilent's spectrum analyzers and noise figure analyzers. The Y-factor method uses a calibrated noise source, which is assumed to present a perfect 50 ohm match to the dot. Y-factor measurements provide good results for most connectorized devices, especially when using low ENR noise sources. However, for lots of other common RF use cases, measurement accuracy can suffer. The PNAX uses a different method to measure noise figure. This method maintains the ability to make a broad range of measurements with a single set of connections to the dot while providing the industry's highest noise figure measurement accuracy. This accuracy applies for devices with coaxial or waveguide connectors, as well as for devices that are still on the wafer or in test fixtures. Let's examine in more detail how the PNAX measures noise figure. The PNAX uses a cold source method, where noise figure of the dot is calculated from two separate measurements. The first measurement is the available gain of the dot, and this is done with great precision using vector error corrected S parameter measurements. The second measurement is the noise power coming from the output of the dot with a room temperature load at the input. The PNAX noise figure option includes a built in low noise receiver with three different gain settings. This means that a broad range of devices with any combination of gain and noise figure can be tested without any additional hardware. Part of the PNAX's high accuracy comes from using vector error corrected S parameters to measure the available gain of the dot. This standard technique corrects for mismatch between the imperfect source match of the test system and the input impedance of the dot. Mismatch correction is also applied when measuring the dot's output noise power. Another major source of error comes from the noise coming out of the DUT's input and interacting with the non-50 ohm source match. This is especially troublesome in on-wafer, in-fixture, or automated test environments where the system source match is degraded by the additional hardware required to connect the analyzer to the DUT. The PNAX corrects for this error 
by using a standard ECAL module as an impedance tuner. By varying the source impedance presented to the input of the dot and measuring the resulting noise figures, accurate 50 ohm noise figure is calculated. This technique yields much higher accuracy than assuming a perfect 50 ohm source match and is only available on Agilent network analyzers. For devices that are not particularly sensitive to source match, a faster, simpler method is available that eliminates the eCal tuner. Setting up noise figure measurements on the PNAX is easy using a tab dialog box where all of the necessary setup information is entered. When measuring converters, three additional tabs are used to define the mixing plan and local oscillator setup. Unlike other solutions, all of the setup information is contained in one dialog box. Calibration is simple with a calibration wizard that guides the user through all of the required calibration steps. A mechanical calibration kit or an electronic eCal module is required to calibrate the S parameter receivers and a noise source or power meter is required to calibrate the noise receiver. An easy test setup and calibration procedure increases productivity as engineers and technicians spend more time doing other important tasks. In summary, the PNAX is an ideal platform for making a broad range of measurements on amplifiers and frequency converters with a single set of connections to the device under test. For noise figure measurements, Agilent's advanced error correction methods provide the industry's highest measurement accuracy. This accuracy is maintained for a wide range of devices in any test environment, whether coaxial, waveguide, on wafer, or in fixture. For more information about the PNAX's noise figure measurement capability, download application note 1408-20 from the URL shown. From there, you can also view other PNAX information, including the data sheet, brochure, and configuration guide. Thanks for watching this video from Agilent Technologies, the world's premier measurement company.